Hello, everyone. Welcome. Dawn here with Amethyst Moon Studios. It's Friday night, and my man, who is a musician, is recording a song right now. So I decided I would come down to the studio and make some art. So, yay! Uh, tonight I am working on a 16 by 20 inch canvas and I'm using for colors I have Liquitex Basics Copper. Super pretty color. I probably won't use a lot though because it does kind of tend to take over. And then I have a mix of Artist Loft uh, Brilliant Yellow with a little bit of Liquitex Basics Naples Yellow, just to tone it down a little bit. Um, and this color is actually gorgeous. It reminds me of gold without the metallic sheen. A very pretty color so I'm trying to think of a way I want to use it um, by itself and then I have Artist Loft's uh, Vermilion nice bright orange and then this one is Artist Loft's Deep Red but I added about a pea sized drop of ivory black to it just to deepen it up even a little bit more so it wasn't quite as bright and then this one is the Liquitex Basics Alazarin Crimson and that also has about a pea-sized um, drop of the ivory black and it makes this really nice burgundy kind of color. I love it. So there's kind of a theme here, which is fire. And I thought it's Friday night. Everybody, you know, might be enjoying campfires. So I'll have one down in the studio. <laughs> um, and tonight I'm actually going to be doing a swipe. So I'll also be using a cell activator for that, a black cell activator. And I mixed all my paints with Floetrol 2 to 1, except for the copper. I did use a little bit less of that because it's naturally thicker by nature. So what I thought I would do is kind of split this canvas up and maybe into thirds and swipe up one way and then down the other way. So that's what I was thinking. Maybe not quite a third, however much that is. So, okay. So we'll go ahead and get started. And basically, all I'm going to do is layer colors. In lines across the canvas. So probably what I'll do then, what probably makes the most sense is I'll lay down a strip of each color and then when I go to repeat that will be where I do my swipe. So instead of doing it from one end or the other, I'm going to break it up a little bit and pull it both ways. 
And I decided not to add some white to this because I did some samples and the white just took over everything. So I decided against it. Maybe another time, maybe not. As you'll probably notice, I don't work with white a lot. It's not my main, I'm more comfortable with black. Everything goes good with black. Not that it doesn't go good with white, but I just think some colors pop out more. What do we got there? Against a black background. What do we have there? Okay. So then that's about how thick I'll go with each color. This is such a pretty orange, too. I'm not normally a big fan of orange. I don't wear it a lot. Except for when my kids were in school and it was their school colors. Make sure I have those edges covered well so that when I swipe, I'll strip them dry, which is very easy to do. So. Okay. probably see spillage from my pour earlier. That turned out so cool. Oh my gosh. It reminds me of like a beehive or a mummy mask. And I actually, I actually have this one picture I took. The overhead lights are hitting it in this one spot and it makes it look kind of ghoulish. It's pretty sweet actually. It's very happy how that one turned out. Very happy. I have a video for that one too. I haven't posted it yet, but, or maybe I have by the time you're seeing this one. I don't know which one I'm going to post first. I guess we'll see how editing goes. And that's a process. I don't even do it. I'm not that tech savvy. Credit for that goes to someone else.
namely their musician boyfriend. I'm kind of a genius at that stuff. He's a smart guy overall, but many talents. All right, so one more color before we repeat. Yeah, I wanted to make sure I had a deeper color in there. Offset that bright yellow. Tried to tone it down, but could only go so far before changing it. So I muted the bright red too a little bit. Look good. They balance each other out. Kind of wanting to do something fiery. So Okay, so I'm going to leave a little spot there for my black. <clears throat> but then I'm going to start over in the reverse order. So coming back with this burgundy still gets picked up. I think it will. Here's the cell activator. Take a little over the side. There we go. Take a little over the side.
still do this gap. Okay, that should be thick enough for me to get both sides. So, I already have paper towel that's been dampened. Actually, it's dried out a little bit, so hang on. So I thought I would do one on each side and then go down the middle. Here we go. I want to get a hair on this. Okay. All right. So I'm lay it down in that black halfway and swipe down. And let it fall over the edge, the pinky edge. Cool. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, so now come down this side. And actually, fold that up a little bit. Okay, so I don't know. Do it that way. Center now. Ooh. I love watching this happen. All right. Yay! Okay, so now I have to carefully flip this back around so that I can swipe the other side. Looks like I had a little bit of a heavy pull right there, but I'm okay with that. We'll take Take a look at that in a minute. First, I want to turn this around. I'm out of gloves. So, I get to 
get dirty on these now. Try to already have paper towel ripped off so I don't even have to touch the roll. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so. On we go. Get right back into that black. And hang on, let me fold this back. So it's easier for me to control that way. And Next one. Got into that red a little bit more than that one. This one. Yeah. Here we go. Ah. Wow. Awesome. It's like a shower. It's like a fire shower. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. You can see some yellow cells popping up up here. Otherwise, for the most part, that red and orange is showing through, but I love the way those reds and that orange blended together. It's really cool. I am not sure I'm loving what happened here. So I'm actually going to mask that. And I got a little close to the edge here, the canvas. I'm going to cover that back up. So I'm just going back in with my cell activator and covering up. If I can, I could probably scrape it and then refill it with the black. Maybe that's what I should do. Oh, Whew. that was close. There we go. Okay. 
Now you can see that right under there. Okay. That maroon color. Pretty color. I just don't want it there. <laughs> have it open all the way. Okay. That's better. Much better. All right, I can handle that. So, I had time to sit. So I'm gonna give it a quick torch. I'm gonna level this out. All right. Digging it. Super cool. Yeah, it's just like a shower of fire. Fire shower. Like a waterfall. Sweet. Just popping bubbles. Which may also pop up some cells. Which I wouldn't mind a little bit more on this side. I would be okay with that. I'm loving it. Aww. Who knew, right? I'm totally digging this. Love it. Okay, so let that sit a minute and see what else happens. Yes. I love how a little bit of that maroon peeked through the black at the top. It's just kind of sprinkled in. And then you start to see the darker red blending into the orange and then the yellow. And then you can see where some of that copper got caught up and dragged through. 
don't see it as much up here, only hints of it. But then the cells look really nice. They look really nice. Got multicolors going on. Orange with yellow in the center. Red with yellow in the center. Just got some orange ones popping through. Digging it. Definitely digging it. I'm going to stretch it a little bit. See where my paint's at. Looks like it's about there. So over this edge, it actually looks like fire the way that the colors are pulling down over the edge. It does look, look, look a bit like fire. It's pretty cool. Oh, starting to get a little twisted there. So, give me a second. Not that I have to have perfect lines. I certainly don't. I like them a little bit more asymmetrical myself, so it's not a big deal to me, but it might be to someone else. Right back where it was. Okay. What do you guys think? I'm digging it. Yes. Love it. Nice to do. Get back up there just a second. here till just to make sure I have everything back where it was. I don't want it, I don't want it to look smushed. So that's about it. I will bring you guys in for a close up. Okay, so apparently I'm very bad about video stuff, taking my phone off the tripod, but this is the final result. I did actually, in the intermission, take another swipe going down this way, simply because there was some streaking going on on the sides from when I took that swipe down the middle. And I wasn't really, really loving it. So I took another swipe and this is the final result. And I like it so much better. There is just the faintest bit of streaking. But there's lacing in it now instead of just that line of color. So... I'm really digging it. I don't know. I think I'm going to call it fire shower. I think so. Well, you guys, thanks again for watching. I hope you have a great one. Bye-bye.